Hey guys, this is Oliver from UC Verse. I'm uh, really excited today to announce the new uh, release of an electric unicycle by InMotion. It's uh, the InMotion V11. So uh, in this video, I'd just like to go over like their uh, release event, uh, some of the things they showed, kind of some of the new features. And um, although this unicycle doesn't have like the top of the range specs of uh, some of the other wheels, like in terms of uh, speed and battery size, etc., I'm uh, really excited that this uh, unicycle has so many new features um, and they're really innovating in, uh, you know, what an electric unicycle is. So uh, yeah, let's just go straight to the video um, where I can show you uh, some of the specs and some of the things about this uh, InMotion V11. Okay guys, so here we have the event itself and uh, they did it in the end after releasing the scooter. So uh, there's like a one more thing. So first of all, uh, this uh, unicycle, it has a, a tire of a three inches uh, compared to the V10F, which is 2.5 inches. Um, which is kind of cool, like uh, it's kind of normal. It's also an 18 inch tire, so it's a bit more, um, it's a little bit more stable off road. Um, and then we have uh, the pads are different now. They have a sandpaper and they have 20% more friction. So that's, that's good to know. I heard that the rubber pedals in motion usually uses people don't really like that that much. Uh, otherwise, we have a new self-made motor by InMotion. You get a uh, two times bigger motor, 50% more power. And uh, basically, that uh, brings you to a max power of 3,000 watts that this uh, kind of the motherboard can deliver and the motor can take. And uh, one of the things that I really like about this unicycle, very, very uh, innovative, is that uh, usually it has six units of uh, MOSFETs. And in this case, it's 12 units. And they, they state here a double insurance. So I assume that they mean that there's a redundancy, like if one of the MOSFETs or more of the MOSFETs burn, uh, you won't fall on the ground like you usually do today with older models. Um, it's actually just going to keep riding. Maybe you get a warning or a notification. So that's super cool to see. Um, then max 3000 watts. That's, you know, kind of normal. Like I think there's other unicycles that have that as well. Uh, not so much new there. Uh, there's also a leading cooling system. Um, so as you can see, the uh, there's actually air and fans that will pull air from the front and go to the back. And it'll go through um, these different um, electronic components. So that's that's really cool to see. I'm, of course, a little bit worried uh, just with the waterproofing. Like, I hope they, they uh, made it like a smart system so that water doesn't go in there as you ride this in the rain. Um, <clears throat> they also say that you can climb up to 35 degrees compared to 20 degrees. Um, and the maximum speed is 50 kilometers per hour. And um, actually here it was very interesting because uh, people just went crazy like in the comments when he displayed the 50 kilometers. Um, it was actually the biggest reaction I think I saw during the whole thing. It's just everyone saying, low, too slow. Um, but to be honest, I think it's, uh, it's, it's okay from a motion to do that. I think um, it is true that it's, um, it's just uh, dangerous to go above 50 kilometers per hour. So, so I think um, if you can go 50 and feel safe at that speed, I think that's really good. Um, I'm used to the Gottfried Tesla, where, which can reach 50, but you're literally at the upper edge of the wheel and it's, it's kind of like high risk of falling, especially if the battery is low. Um, another really cool thing is that uh, they have new uh, LEDs here on the, on, the, on the unicycle. So they show first the V8 has 200 looks and then the V10F has 520 looks. And then the V11 has 7,800 looks. They say that it's the same kind of grade as a car would be. So super cool. Like it would be insane to see, um, you know, how good this headlight is at night. Um, and then they also compare it with other unicycles at the market. So the Nikola, 700 looks. And, you know, that's similar to the one in the Tesla. Um, I'm already super happy with the Tesla. So that's huge. I also heard the 16X has really good headlamps. So imagine it's even better than that. 7,800 looks. That's a lot. Um, and in the back, you also have a very strong light. And um, when you brake, it also lights and the light is always on. So actually it's legal to use this. This vehicle is pretty much like proper, legit with the lights, legal in many countries, including Denmark where I live. Um, then there's this new uh, handle, which uh, I don't know, it's really hard to see from the video if it's gonna be any good, but I like how there's this button underneath, um, one for the lifting of the sensor and another one for releasing the handle. It looks very thin there in the edge, but I don't know, it's hard to say here. Um, and But it's definitely a sleek design. Um, they, they say that it heights from 1.3 to 2 meters, that's kind of cool. 
um, and they don't really give any more details, so we don't really know. Um, apart from that, there's uh, this anticipating button, as usual, and in motion, 130 press time, pretty cool. Um, here's the battery, 1420, um, you know, which is pretty decent, definitely the biggest one for emotion right now. Um, it will be able to take you like a good distance. Uh, but of course, compared to the Godway fans, like maybe it's a little bit below and, um, and also like King Song. Um, and then we also have dual charging. We can, you know, connect two charges and charge it faster. The whole thing in five hours. It's all right, you know, not nothing, not nothing crazy, but all right. And then we also got new padding, which is uh, three times bigger than the Vita F, so so it should be a comfortable wheel. And then uh, one thing that is really innovative here within Motion is also there's this stand. So you just flick this thing down and then you can, you know, safely leave the unicycle um, and, and uh, hopefully it's very stable so it doesn't fall. Uh, then here we have just an image of the unicycle itself, how it looks. Um, I'm half half on the design. Um, I think I personally prefer the King Song 16X like in design. But definitely, you know, very futuristic look. Um, I like how practical it is. I like that it has those lights, the stand. Like, um, I think it will be a, a great wheel. And uh, here, for you guys to see, is the wheel itself and the stand, how it works. So from the video here, it doesn't look super stable, but all right, I guess. Um, but that's, that's the wheel there, guys. Um, pretty, pretty cool. Um, and uh, one thing that is also super, super innovative now is that it has the 70 millimeter suspension travel. Super excited about this. Really want to try it, see how it feels, how comfortable it is. Um, and it's an ear spring suspension. So um, that's that's kind of interesting. I'm also curious to know how long it will last. Um, you know, is this kind of, can you break the suspension? Um, do you have to replace it every few months or something? So I'm very curious about that. Um, and then here just shows how the suspension works. So um, actually, I really like this idea. Like you, it actually moves at the at the the whole pedal level. Um, so that that seems like a smart way of doing it, like a stable way of doing this. Uh, so I cannot wait for reviews about this. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, basically two thousand three hundred US dollars. June thirtieth, I already went into AliExpress and I saw that you you can already kind of pre-order with some of the sellers, but it's very early days, so I wouldn't trust potentially buying from a seller unless they have very good uh, reviews, reputation, and all that. So be careful. Um, and I don't know, I guess maybe going into the Motion website, they'll show price there. So, so yeah, guys, that was the event. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know uh, if you have uh, any questions. And yeah, great. Okay, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the Motion V11. Let me let me know uh, what you think about the Motion V11. Is um, is the speed and the battery size uh, a deal breaker for you? Um, anyway, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.